Moving on, Sri Lanka President Gotabaya Rajapaksa's resignation has formally been accepted. Until the new president is chosen, Lankan Prime Minister is going to function in the capacity of the president as well. He was sworn in as acting president by the Chief Justice Jayanta Jayasuriya. Lankan Speaker Mahinda Yapa Abe Vardhana has made formal announcement confirming the resignation. Gotabaya has legally resigned with effect from Thursday. I have accepted the resignation, the Speaker confirmed. Rajapaksa mailed in his resignation from Singapore after flying to the city-state from the Maldives. Abe Vardhane has now kicked off the constitutional procedure of appointing a new president. There are three main frontrunners for this post. Lankan Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, Opposition Leader Sajid Premadasa and Senior Lawmaker and Ruling Party Member Dulas Alla Peruma. Celebration of Gotabaya Rajapaksa's uh, resignation begins. Distribution of Sri Lanka's one of the important delicacies called as a milk rice that you could see over here. Volunteers have brought this milk rice into the place, the venue of the presidential secretariat, and they have brought it over here to be distributed to the public as well. Very neatly done from their home, and they are bringing it over here. These are the volunteers that have brought it in. And just mentioned, just like mentioned earlier, Gotabaya Rajapaksa was to have resigned on 13th, but it took two more days and finally the speaker had announced that Gautabaya Rajapakshe has resigned and as a mode of celebration here you see the people who have brought in milk rice along and they are trying to move here opposite to this end you have the military personnel as well but here it is a kind of distribution a celebration and they are even trying to walk past the military personnel over here they are being stopped but at the same time they just want to cut it here and give it to the public this is a form of celebration uh, uh, to celebrate Gotabaya Rajapaksha's uh, resignation and here it is being distributed to the public at this point over here and these are the public people who have been protesting here for several days and it turned out to be 98 days and here you could see it's also being given to the uh, uh, people who are standing over here especially the military over there and this way they are finally celebrating it the, the protesters are handing over the uh, rice, milk rice to the military who are a bit hesitant currently to see if they can take it but they have like uh, the protesters are urging the military to accept the, uh, uh, the uh, milk rice over here and that way they are celebrating it these are the delicacies of Sri Lanka called as milk rice and this is the way they are celebrating their former president Gautabaya Rajapaksha's resignation at the presidential uh, secretariat as we speak the last place where the, uh, the protesters are still holding up until everything comes to back comes back to normalcy from Colombo from Odmadam for you today well Sri Lanka may see ease in the situation as the political crisis is almost on the verge of being resolved there will be a new government soon within a week new president new prime minister but what is the situation on the ground when it comes to the economic crisis well the images right behind me at the such petrol pumps explains the fury and why the people were furious for almost six months almost all these petrol, st uh, petrol stations gas stations either being guarded by army the Air Force Javans or even at some petrol pumps you can see the Navy commandos also because the fuel shortage continues the cooking gas shortage continues and whenever the supplies comes you will see the huge queues of the vehicles be it the commercial vehicles or the private vehicles and many petrol pump stations many petrol stations the queues are even more than couple of kilometers that is the situation at ground zero in Colombo and that perhaps may take time to get the situation better in Colombo with Sanjay Kumar I'm Ashutosh Mishra for India today